Joe Chicho, have you ever met any ex exceptionally gifted mathematicians? I was watching a documentary about the International Mathematics Olympics, and I didn't even understand the questions. Never mind the answers. Here's the kicker: the questions are uh, uh, are designed to be confusing to a certain degree. The understanding the question is part of answering the question. Is part of the solution right you have to be able to take the english language state in a certain way and the symbols that are being thrown at you right for you to be able to connect the english the wording of the problem to the symbols the language of mathematics if there is a drawing or anything like this or apply your own understanding of the language of syntax of language of mathematics to this problem right and you work your way through it the kicker is unless you've encountered problems like that questions like that you'll be very confused i am because i don't i don't teach on that level i don't and not that level but that genre i'm not interested in doing these types of problems because a lot of those problems are combinatorics and permutations i'm not a combinatorics permutations type of guy right um so it's different right so don't worry if you don't even understand the questions because you wouldn't understand the questions if you hadn't done a shitload of sample questions like for example for jeopardy when people go on jeopardy all these people that click bling, they answer the question it's not random information they've picked up there's book that they read they go through so they're supposed to know that stuff it's like doing homework krish thank you very much for the follow salute 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 okay so don't don't uh don't think math is hard because you don't understand even the question is because that's a specific genre of mathematics where the questions are geared in a certain way that if you had never encountered a question like that you have no idea what the hell is asking you okay hello there kirsch so that's what it is and it's not my cup of tea to tell you the truth it's not my cup of tea okay uh, have i ever for your first question have i ever met a gifted mathematician yeah i've had some students that are really good at it right but you need to be able to focus them uh, to a certain degree so people who are gifted in something they lack uh, certain other things in general right so if you have an extremely visual uh, sense maybe your hearing is not as good if you have very ex very good hearing maybe your visual is not good which is the way it works if you take it to the extreme if you're blind in general unless there's some kind of malformality or whatever it is usually your hearing is phenomenal right because you're compensating for the sense that you don't have right so always think about it like that i've never met a gifted human being because i everyone's a human being i've never met a gifted human being or a completely low iq human being right even though when i say npcs and stuff like this they still excel in certain areas right might they might not be wise right? they don't know how to apply that information right there are geniuses out there that are mathematically absolutely brilliant but they don't know how to apply that mathematics right you can watch a doc watch a documentary called uh, um i think it's called forbidden knowledge or unlawful knowledge or something like this it's about three of the most famous mathematicians ever right that they either committed suicide or went insane trying to uh, take understand infinity right so they had a hard time understanding infinity they went insane or killed themselves right so they were lacking in certain other aspects of what it means to be human so i've never met a human genius or a low iq human okay there are only people that are geniuses in certain genres certain sectors and they're extremely low iq in regards to other sectors okay. it is what it is